So Torino, tell me a little bit about your coaching style. You know, you have uh, you have had a lot of influences over the years. Um, legendary coach George Ravelin, legendary coach John Wooden, Denny Crum, things of that nature. You know, some are you know more calm, some are more outspoken. Right. Where do you where do you fit in with? Uh, how do you think you can describe your coaching style? Wow, um, describing my coaching style. I just think I'm whatever's necessary. Mm -hmm. um, I, I love getting into practice. That's 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 my thing. So if I do majority of my work in practice. When we get to the game, it's more just adjustments. And um, I've I've been privy to conversations with Coach Wooden. Uh, spent a few summers, you know, at his Encino apartment wow. Uh, condo. Wow. Uh, talking basketball and, and, and breaking down uh, different drills. Uh, I've been able been fortunate enough to be a a flight school camp worker for the Jordan brand and nice. sat down with George Ravelin, Coach George Ravelin. Coach George Ravelin. And um it's it's just fascinating to be this 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 kid at, at heart and be able to interact with your mentors. So they've all had a, a calming influence on me as opposed to when I first started. When I first started everything was a yelling game. Mm -hmm. I gotta be loud. Yeah. Um, to get my point across. Because right. there's a difference between yelling and screaming. Right. And a lot of people don't get that. Right. You know, there's yellers and then there's screamers. Right. So. And so my my thing is to to convey the message uh, that's appropriate for you. And uh, you know, when you're in a game, I'm not you're, you're not going to process all of those things. But when you get in a huddle, you, you're going to be aware of uh, you, you coach girls basketball feelings. Right. And so I need you to feel good to continue to work. Every now and right. then, you have a player that doesn't really care about the feelings or the emotional stage. Yeah. She's just going to play. Um, well, that's not the norm. So you, you, you have to divvy it up and be appropriate. Whatever it is that's yeah. necessary. Yeah. Whatever is necessary for you as a coach, you, you need to be able to do it. Yeah. Uh, it's just like whatever offense you want to run. Right. You need to be knowledgeable of it. Right. Well, same thing with your player personnel and your uh, your, your dealings with uh, their personalities. Yeah. You need to be able and willing. Right. To to comprehend that setting right. and then deal with it as appropriate. Yeah. And and <clears throat> even to get further into that, you know, with me, you know, someone asked me a couple of years ago. They said, "How do you coach girls?" Yeah. You know, and I was like, "I don't." You know, I don't know. I, I'm relating it back to you know, I grew up in a house full of women. Yeah. You know, so. Yeah. You know, I never aspired to coach girls. Just so happened I started my coaching career coaching girls. Right. So all I've known how to do was deal with women. Right. You know, so it came second nature to me. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. so is that the same that applies to you a little bit? Same, man. Same. I, I had a big family. Uh, so many women around. Yeah. Cousins visiting over the summers. Right. Uh, all young ladies, a uh, few cousins, male cousins. But it's it's funny because it's, I just go off of coaching, right. and so I was doing this dual thing with, with my coaching. I was coaching boys and girls here, right. but I started off on the girl side because that's what was available, and that's they needed help. Yeah. So came in, started helping. I'm in year ten. Um, first three years spent here at Palisades right. as an assistant, right. but I was assisting on the boys and the girls side, right. and it was just coach. And right. once the head coach. Uh, for for Pally resigned and went on her way, um, the job was available, and then I had to go through the requiring process. I mean the uh, the uh, what is it called the the hiring process? That's the requiring process. Yeah. I'm going crazy. <laughs> so the hiring process, and I got hired. So I, I went through that process, and then immediately I knew I was ready. Based on the three years I spent as an as an assistant, right. I saw a lot of good things, and I also saw a lot of what not to do. Right. And so you you have to be cognizant of those things, and when you are, it preps you, it preps you for something that you didn't, you you weren't thinking about. I was just thinking coach, not necessarily head coach, yeah. just coach. I just yeah. want to coach. So it's been a a, a really good ride. That's good.